there are so many things we could never fix if we don't work to advance technologies. And so I think it's worth it, even though there are risks with advancing these technologies. And yeah, so if you come from a worldview where you think that we're never going to be able to control the developments of dangerous technologies and like what actors have the capability to do so, then the DEAC pathway just seems like a more attractive one. And so it, it comes back to that, like, I don't think that people proposing the DEAC pathway are proposing that as the utopia, but more like this is the most robust way that's going to get us through this, this difficult, challenging time most safely. And yeah. also like really while avoiding the powers of of centralization. I do think a little bit of like the the AI, uh, the tool AI pathway and the DAC pathway as like considering different, like there's like two two axes of the sort of risk tree for, for AI development where DAC optimizes for avoiding the centralization risks and tool AI optimizes for avoiding the identic risk mostly. And so to some extent, I would be most excited of like a combination of the two.